Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today is daylight savings time and yep, that's right. I'm going to talk about daylight savings because it's the bane of every biomed's existence. It really is because you have to come in twice a year to change times on something because medical equipment is 20 years behind the times. It's true. Only in the last two or three years have I seen medical devices that actually auto update their time. But let me tell you something. That's okay because it's just part of the job, guys. It really is. So twice a year, I come in and since I do surgical, I do um, defibrillators, anesthesia machines, patient monitors, ECG carts. Oh, man, what else? whole bunch of stuff right cath lab rooms um, whatever is in there that is going to talk to the digital medical record the DMR uh, which for me is Cerner whichever is going to talk to the digital medical record it has to have the same exact time or close to it as Cerner because you don't want something that incrementally gives updates that have a timestamp to have a different timestamp than what the digital med medical record has so anyway it is a thing, it is part of the job, and we just kind of accept that. Now, a lot of times people will come in and they will go through like the telemetry system and patient monitoring server, but um, some of those systems are now with, uh, with the digital servers, they're starting to auto-update their time automatically, and some of them you can even remote in, which is very cool. But um, a lot of the off-site clinics and off-site surgical centers and stuff, None of that stuff is going to auto update, guys. So, unfortunately, we got to go through. I know I'm I'm tired. I know I look like garbage right now because I'm out pruning trees. A lot of the people showed up at 2 a.m. this morning, and I said no, 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 guys. I'm not showing up at 2 a.m. because why? Nobody's doing surgeries at like 2, 3, 4, or even 5 a.m. If they are, it's a trauma. So if it's a trauma it's going to be completely circumstantial anyway. But one thing I can tell you, is when I got to work this morning, a whole bunch of my devices were already swapped over to the new time. Now I appreciate that, I really do, but you know what I would appreciate even more? Is whoever did it, whoever you are, you little angel you, if you would have just wrote me a professional courtesy email saying, hey, these are the areas that we went over and you know, we change the time for you. Guys, I, one thing I can tell you is if you ever, ever, ever touch medical equipment in somebody's location, somebody's area of responsibility, give that person or their team leader um, an email saying what you did to that device. So if you came in on call and you, you messed around with the patient monitor because it had, uh, you know, touch screen out or something, or somebody disconnected a network cable in one of their rooms, just give that team a quick email saying, hey guys, this is what I did last night and uh, it'll save everybody so much hassle. This whole morning, I, I went for like three, three and a half hours walking around. I got over 70 operating rooms. I got operating rooms, I got cath rooms, I got hybrid rooms, I got, what else do I got? Cardiovascular operating rooms, I got labor and delivery, I got gastrointestinal. I Man, I've got, I've got so many areas I don't even know. I've got pediatric, cath lab, what else we got? I don't even know. It was a lot of rooms, guys. It was a lot of walking around. I think, by the time I got out of work today, I had over four miles. That's over 8,000 footsteps clicked in just from today, and my feet hurt. I'm coming home to have me a good drink and uh, to chillax because we deserve it. All you biomeds out there that have to come in and change the time, we're envious of the states that said, no, we're not going to participate in daylight savings time. We envy you. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day. Daylight savings time is part of the job. If you become a biomed, I'm telling you right now, it's just part of life. You're going to have to come in and switch time. ECG carts, if they're floating around and pack you pre-op or whatever, make sure you get your ECG carts too, guys, because believe it or not, I have had Jayco actually go through and cite those for every single one that's not got the correct time. So make sure you change your times, guys. We are fall back an hour and uh, all you guys go out and have a good drink because uh, you deserve it for coming in last night. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye! <laughs>